What's up my crypto legends in this episode we're taking a look at the Bitcoin price on the daily and I do still believe that this is an accumulation event. Now we have lost some major support levels to the downside but it is not game over for Bitcoin and I'm going to show you with the accumulation and distribution Wyckoff schematics your question might be is this really an accumulation event or is it a redistribution and we're going to see Bitcoin at much lower levels. Now, this was pretty clear, a distribution and this was an accumulation. And I can prove you with volume that this has a higher probability in being an accumulation event and that Bitcoin might explode to the upside in less than a week, guys. Just showing you the timing is ending for this accumulation schematic. Make sure to stay tuned. Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe daily TA on Bitcoin Crypto, also to live streams to connect with the community. I am not a financial advisor, so don't buy or sell anything that I say. But if you do so, do your own research. Let's dive in. Quick reminder, Cesar Lima was the winner for the giveaway in Bitcoin. Make sure to tag me in the official Telegram group down below in the description. I am an admin there. Make sure to tag me and send me your wallet because I will be sending you some Bitcoin. Now, let's dive in here straight into these events, guys. Accumulation and distribution events, okay? And I want to show you how this is still potentially an accumulation event, right? But first of all, Let's understand what is distribution and accumulation and where have we, we've been having these events on Bitcoin for the last couple of years. Well, in 2021, it was pretty clear. Let me just zoom in here. I'll be leaving a picture here so you can see, guys, these events. Now, right over here, it was clear that we were forming a distribution event, all right, where we did see all of these different phases, okay, and also showing an upthrust and after a distribution, all right, on the third peak, as you can see on the picture, finally having that massive drop distribution event, okay? I'm going to show and explain with you with volume afterwards how you can detect also this distribution and also this accumulation. So I just want to make this video pretty fast so you can understand that this was a distribution event. And this right over here, just after the drop, was an accumulation event as you can see i have different schematics and i'm going to show you a picture above me right now okay how this was clearly an accumulation and i will explain afterwards with volume all right where we ha have all of these different phases all the way down to the spring point where you are actually retesting the lows before getting that big massive big bounce and finally showing signs of strength and then continuing to the upside okay clear accumulation event as you can see here with the picture also now your question might be what is this because the other day we were talking about this being a schematic to accumulation event but there is also a possibility that this could be a redistribution coming from a massive downtrend right as you can see i'll be showing you a picture also here where this potentially has just been the up thrust and then after distribution, right, where you do have that kind of, it's the, the other side of the accumulation where you do have the spring point and then you go to the other side and here you have the up thrust, then distribution, as you can see here on the picture. But what I want to show you here is that how this is very, very likely an accumulation showing you volume, okay? Let's pull out the volume, all right? And obviously in a distribution event, the big players want to sell at the top, right? They want to sell their assets at the highest price possible. They will not try and sell at the low part, right? And what I want to show you here with volume, and you can pull out mm, some different charts here from different exchanges, but I'm just going to go with Bitstamp. Uh, you can use Coinbase or any other exchanges. They usually have an algorithm to show similar volume. But just by showing you here the Bitstamp chart, okay, uh, to be pretty clear, let's just get a horizontal line here on the volume, all right, to the see the highest peaks, the highest red peaks, all right. And first of all, I want to be pretty clear. The distribution and accumulation events are usually inside a range. So you could arguably discuss taking the highest point right over here, 
to the lowest area, all right? It is a range, okay, that you are in. Let's also get this accumulation event right over here and show you the range right over here. This was also a range of an accumulation. And let's also get this one right over here and show you this also, this, this range. Now, let's go through here the volume because this is super important, guys. You need to understand that the big players want to sell at highest level. So it is very, very likely that the high volume will be at the highest point, right? The highest point should be the high volume. So if I just zoom in here, in the case of bid stamp here, we can see that inside of this range, all right, from this level, we're not counting here this, this mega pump with this high volume, of course, we are counting from this range, okay? Since you are inside of this box from this level. As you can see, at this peak, we do have already high volume here, high selling pressure from the top of this peak. Then afterwards, the volume is pretty low, still continuing to the upside, okay? They're trying to push the price up, get all those people to FOMO in. And then what you do realize here from the start of this top range, you start seeing high volume pushing the price back down, guys, till you have the last event, of course, finally absolutely pushing the price down, then having extremely high volume at the low, getting all of those retail people selling at the low. This is a huge bunch of retail, okay? Massive capitulation, getting scared, selling, you know, most of the Bitcoin at these levels. This is why you have this big, massive, big spike of volume. Now, after these events, when retail have sell, sold, you have an accumulation, right? Then they still want to scare you, getting the price low from the $30,000 range in this case, okay? Let's go through this accumulation and go through volume also here. Just a quick explanation, guys, here with volume. After having this massive big sell-off of retail, okay, right over here, we want to, you know, we want to understand that this is an accumulation event and you do have the last, you know, touches here to get people really scared and bearish till they actually pump the price up. The whales pr pump the price up, accumulating inside of this zone. Now, just with volume, okay, let me just get a horizontal, uh, this yellow horizontal line and put it slightly lower. The reason why these volumes are much lower right now is because of this massive big spike, okay? You can see it on, on the chart, all right? Just because of this big massive volume, these other ones look uh, very small, but they are also pretty, pretty high. So let me just explain after this massive drop, let's check out the volumes, all right? inside of this range we can already see a nice big green candle from this range okay but with this is not at the lowest point one of the lowest points okay looking at the volumes very low at this range low at this range very low at this range but the biggest one is also right over here at the middle with this wick okay at the lowest part of this area meaning that there is very big interest at this lower part right you're getting the price push back up, you getting that interest, that volume at the lowest level from this box, from this range. I'm talking about between $30,000 and $40,000 in this case. So fast forward, we do have that last point over here. We do have a slightly big um, volume right there, but then finally you do get that high volume breaking out from this zone, as you can see, but you did break out but you came back in and I want to show you an example of what is happening right now with Bitcoin that we have broken above these major resistance levels, but now we're slightly below. And finally, you get that big mega pump after the big retracement. A lot of similarities in this kind of movement happening right now with Bitcoin, which I'll explain in just a few minutes. So here's how you read the dis uh, accumulation event. You got high volume at these lower parts, okay, as you can see, high volume right there. And after the, this big red candle indicating the lowest part of this zone, you also get, you know, already getting that interest uh, for, with high volume, as you can see with these pumps. Now, explaining volume, let's dive in here through this range. So if the whales are interested in pushing the price down from these high levels, 
and they are interested in buying here at the low levels just by looking at the volumes you can see the interest if i just zoom in here on this area which is in between january till today it's already being over two months and zoom in we can already see here these signs of strength where we have seen the price dropping with high volume okay dropping here with high volume but already inside of this area if i take this yellow horizontal line and we take a look at the highest volumes you can already see three spikes over here with high volume where are these spikes in high volume they are at the lowest part of the box meaning that big players are buying at these low levels indicating that this is very likely an accumulation event and we're going to go to much higher levels in the next coming weeks now if this were to be a distribution you should heat see high volume here at these highs at these highs you should be seeing big spikes in volume pushing the price down just like we did see here with this distribution event where we do see the high volumes right over here pushing the price down from the highs so let's take a look also at one interesting thing right over here which is timing let's take a look at the timing because you cannot be in an accumulation or distribution event for a year it's usually just a few months and what i want to show you right over here is that we are ending this potential accumulation event it could still be a distribution i would be very surprised if this is a distribution but i'm still sticking that this is an accumulation event and we'll go through the levels in just a bit what i want to show you here is pretty pretty impressive the timing that this has taken for bitcoin distribution event if we take the highest level inside of this zone okay from the start of the pump into this zone it is right over here right so you have you enter this area at this high of the of the pump inside of this this box the highest level is right over here now during this time you are inside of this range now the very end of the range just when you start to have this drop okay just in the next few days this next level over here it's about 78 79 days till you oops sorry it's about 78 79 days from this high till you start dropping right over here 79 bars on the daily okay 79 days you can see here's when you already finish in a few days after you're already in this massive big sell-off so make sure to to focus on this 78 79 days from the start from the high here of this pump inside of this area till the very end big massive drop 79 days now if we take the lowest level here from the massive big drop inside of this range we take the lowest level which was on the 19th of march okay in the case of bitcoin from the start being if being inside of this box basically low level till the very end till you start breaking out which would be this low over here starting to break out from this range this is also 79 days after 78 79 days you are out of this box out of this level so it took 78 79 days to get out of this box and it also took 79 days to get away uh, get out of this box basically distribution accumulation now if we take a look at this lowest level over here on bitcoin because we are inside you know the lowest level from the drop okay being inside of this box we can see that the lowest level is on the 24th of june okay getting below thirty four thousand dollars now if we were to be around about 78 79 days we have still a few more days potentially till the 12th or the 13th of april where we are going to see bitcoin leaving this box leaving this area and currently we are at the highest level now does this mean that in less than one week we could drop down to 
32, $30,000. Yes, this is possible. This is possible. Anything is possible. But looking at the possibilities, this is basically telling me that this, you know, we've only got about a week, guys, if we were to follow the same timing in accumulation and distribution schematics here for Bitcoin. And if we do see the similarities also of this pump breaking above this high over here, and these are different schematics, okay? This is schematic one, this is schematic two, where they there is there is a slight difference here, but obviously the sign of strength is very, very similar, where you do get above this range, this area, you have a consolidation at the top of the range before you actually break and continue to the upside. So here, what I wanna show you is that we've only got a week, okay? And if the next coming days is going to be a consolidation, at this level, okay, above $42,000 range, which is the strongest level that we have had for Bitcoin. If you take a look here at this box, and I'm just going to turn it green here one second, or blue, so you can actually take a look at this range, okay? If we do manage to stay above this level, I think the price is still looking pretty, pretty strong. Let me just change this into blue, so you can guys can see it. You can see here a big spike as resistance, resistance right over here resistance right over here slightly getting above it big support big support big support we got above it got a bounce and this is you know a range where we have been seeing a lot of volatility above and below this range but you can see it's been a very very strong level in my personal opinion i think we are very very likely going to create something like this and this is just my personal opinion of course where we have had the sign of strength from trading inside of this range. The timing is almost ending if we were to have the same timing as this area, these areas. So it's a possibility that in the next few days, potentially, or one week, we can see the Bitcoin price finally getting that rally and breaking the highs here of $48,000. This is my opinion, guys, only very much looks like looking at volume with timing that this is still in an accumulation event this has only been a retracement from the big massive pumps that we've been having mid-march let me know what you think down below in the comment section check out bitcoin sensor website for the latest news and technical analysis ideas here down below in the description totally free thank you guys and i will see you in the next one